Well, first of all, it's the archipelago. As you mentioned, we have 7,107 islands. And the distance between the city, the urbanized areas, and the mountainous areas is very vast. And you have the oceans also and the rivers in between. So uh, I think um, there's a lot of uh, infrastructure needed for the school children to be able to reach the schools, the public schools, for example. Another challenge that we're facing is really the uh, technology infrastructure for education. We believe that there should be a need for a better bandwidth for the internet and um, also uh, the infrastructure with regard to the devices that the school children will be using. So, and then the third would be another challenge is to um, provide opportunities for girls because I'd like to speak in behalf of girls and women who would like to be involved in STEM, which is science, technology, education, uh, engineering, and mathematics. It's uh, still a very male-dominated field, and I'm one of the few who's been able to make my mark and make a stand for women. Uh, we need more engineers and scientists in this field, uh, not because of ge it's gender-based, but it's because we want the girls to be out of the, uh, I would say, the typical industries, which is the like the hospitality industry or the culinary industry. We believe that women, uh, women, Filipino women in general, may will have have skills mm -hmm. on technology as well, mm -hmm. and we need to have a science-oriented community or society, and the women can be at par with the men to help the Philippines to be more progressive. Mm -hmm. We have 8,000 non-grid schools. Non-grid means no electricity. They're in the mountains. They're in islands, and as I mentioned. We have to level the playing field with regards to providing public school students out in the far-flung areas technology. That, I believe, is my advocacy right now because uh, we're using solar power. We're trying to, uh, in fact, we have model schools already using solar power and the, te the devices so that they have access to the technology and also bringing, um, not the internet, but bringing content in the classroom environment, not necessarily going out of the uh, the white you know, brand bandwidth. Yes. Mm -hmm. My message for women entrepreneurs is to be fearless, to be passionate, and most of all, to not lose your sense of humor because you don't want wrinkles, and you <laughs> want to be to stay beautiful and successful in whatever endeavors you have.